Small businesses in the Solano County area. Hi, my name is Leo. I have a digital marketing agency here in Solano County. I want to share with you this uh, information that I received, right, uh, that could benefit those small businesses that apply to uh, and receive PPP or that are in the process but are to apply for PPP. The Congress approved uh, last night, June 3, uh, changes to PPP that may benefit you. So I recommend if you uh, did get this loan or you're in the process of getting it, there's still money left, so make sure to apply if you need it. Um, now I'll suggest you to keep an eye, close eye on these changes that uh, are looking to be passed as a law, right? It says over here, the U.S. Senate, and by the way, it's something that uh, President of the California Hispanic Chamber of Commerce sent, to, sent, sent in a blast email. Um, also something that I see in multiple other, uh, you know, credible news articles you see in Bloomberg, um, CNBC, Biz Journal, etc. Um, you can find the, the, the information and um, CNBC as well. I can share with you the link to the article if you want. But um, it says that the U.S. Senate right approved those changes that were proposed uh, for to the PPP loan, uh, loan program. Uh, and right now it's uh, uh, waiting for... Mr. Donald Trump to be signed, right? They're waiting for on the president to sign to make it into a law. Um, if signed into a law, it says over here some of the information of the changes that that will take in effect. It says that will extend the cover period under which small businesses can spend the loan proceeds from eight weeks to 24 weeks or until December 31st. So it seems there was an issue. I, I didn't took. Um, I didn't get this loan right as small shop part uh, business owner that I didn't take, uh, need this loan. And but but is I, I heard this and I, it, it seems based on these changes right that there was a need to have to change that 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 period right the cover period to uh, be to where you were supposed to use that money within eight within eight weeks of getting them, uh, that if it becomes a law, it will be extended. Instead of eight weeks, you're gonna have 24 weeks to be able to spend that money or 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 use that money uh, or until December 31st, which, whichever happens first. It also says over here that it removes the limits on loan forgiveness for small businesses that were unable to rehire employees or hire new employees, or return to the same level of business activity as before the virus. Um, it also says to expand it, um, the 25% cap to use PPP funds on non-payroll expenses, such as rent, mortgage interest, and utilities to 40% of the loan. That lowers the 75% requirements for payroll expenses to 60% to get maximum forgiveness. In the other words, if you're looking to get a forgiven, if you're looking to uh, request forgiveness on this loan, meaning you don't want, you looking to get a, apply um, for you not to need, or for your business not, not to have the need to pay the loan back, right? You can apply for forgiveness. Um, you have to meet some requirements. Currently, the requirement is that you have to use at least 75%, or you have to use 75% of the loan towards, at least 75% of the loan towards payroll expenses. Um, and then 25%, you can use it for other uh, expenses not related to payroll. However, I heard this as well from other, right? The money, small businesses have shared with me, and, and obviously you can see the why they change over here, most business owners that take this loan, they actually want that that loan more towards operations because it seems a lot of expenses that they have is just rent or uh, electricity bills, etc. Right, so that's the biggest expenses that they feel they need to uh, cover, and I, I I know that's probably why this uh, change over here, right, towards now if this passes, they going to is going to be allowed to be able to use 60 percent towards payroll expenses instead of having to to uh and then 40 percent towards uh other expenses not related to payroll as opposed to 75 and 25. um allow small businesses to take a ppp loan and also qualify um something else you can 
as there's other uh, things over here, but I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to cover everything. I'll suggest you that if you want to learn about these changes to contact your um, uh, payroll person or your accountant per, uh, person, that person that is, keeps your books, um, or I'll, if you have none of those, I'll suggest you to contact your local small business center or your local SBDC, a small business development center. To get a consultant, right? To talk to a consultant one on one. This is all free service. Um, to ask more information on these changes if they happen, if they pass. Um, so that's all I want to go over today. If you want to uh, get a copy of those articles, or if you want to get in contact with the, uh, if you're in Northern California, when I'm gonna get in contact with the Solano SBDC, uh, not Solano SBDC, but a SBDC. Uh, consultant let me know I can put you in contact with some of the people that we know uh, that I know I obviously serve on the board for the Solana Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and I'm a small business owner myself so I do definitely stay in contact with those type of resources my website is digitaltrack.co my phone number is 707-410-0307 so you can call me or text me at that number if you need information on who to contact right for to know more about those changes or if those changes happen, if you want to know more about them. All right, have a good one.